Hello and welcome back. I'm glad that you're joining me as I set up for October and the season of Samhain. This year I am not necessarily going so much with correspondences as the themes and I am using pomegranates for my decoration in honor of Persephone and the descent into the underworld. So um, you just saw me there. I was putting in some pomegranates at the top and going through and doing some of my black lettering first. I'm doing two types of black. One is a Tombow dual brush pen, which you see me using here. I mostly use this dual brush pen for the bullet side to get a mercury black edge for my boxes and things. And then what you saw there, it's a little streaky, is my, and again here, with with my kitty, um, is a Kiritake brush pen. This is a refillable brush pen, so it has Noodler's Black Fountain Pen ink in it. Um, and I like it because I can change out the colors, but also do a water-based or a waterproof black. But now I'm getting to my colored pomegranate. So I'm doing kind of, of a division here where I have the outlined black inky look for parts and then along the bottom full color pomegranates. I'm doing a base for the pomegranate skin in a gold color uh, from the Artist Loft water brush pens. And then for the pomegranate seeds, I layer up five different reds. Um, it's three reds from a Crayola Super Tip pack, one Tombow red, and one Pit Artist pen red. Here I'm trying to slow it down a little more so you can see the way I do this. I start with the gold, do those lines, and then I have this paler pink that I add my first layer of shadows to the, the shell as well as the seeds. And then as I add the darken to the seeds, I go through and darken, um, kind of, I guess, the shell of the pomegranate as well, and trying to leave some space um, where the original gold can shine through and give it a sense of depth and um, so that it would have both shadows and highlights so that it feels a little rounded. And then I'm going in with this um, Crayola Super Tip Green. And just like with my markers, I, the other, the red markers, I should say, I'm layering the green over and over so that I can get a sense of shading. I am really liking the way this combination works out where I have sort of the top and side with my, I don't know, ink brushy, <laughs> and then the bottom with the color. This month's, um, saying is those you love are your best teachers. It corresponds to the two of cups card that I drew in my year ahead um, draw last December. I You saw me kind of do the outline of my goals there and then go back and do the shading. I think if I thought that through better I would not have done the sort of bubble business but I think it turns out fine. And as you can see, I didn't have much penciled in here. So I decided to put the pomegranates in the swoop of my R. Later you'll see, I actually had another idea that I like a lot better. I think it still works fine in the swoop. Um, but if I had had my other idea first, I might would have left it out. One thing that I have been enjoying about this pomegranate theme is, I mean, of course we all know the correspondence of pomegranates with the story of Persephone, um, but I do feel like having the color of the pomegranates and the pomegranate leaves with black, so much black, um, makes it feel right. I don't know if that makes sense. It gives me the feeling of, um, of autumn and fall and that sort of richness but also going into the dark times 
And I really like the way this kind of came together to give me the sense of that season. Here you can see I'm taking my fountain pen. It has uh, Vinta ink uh, Bottabil in it. It's a really deep purple, but if there's more ink, it sheens to green. Absolutely gorgeous color. But I thought it worked especially well for lining the pomegranates in this instance, tying together the blacks and the reds, um, just kind of meshing everything nicely. Now I am working on my trackers. This is the same I've been doing for the past several months where I do my little calendar. I am making a few changes to what I am tracking this month. And I intend to make use of uh, my little mark system so that I can track multiple things within a theme on a single calendar. Which sounds really funny when I say that, but um, so I can track on my cleaning tracker when I dusted, when I vacuumed, when I let the robot vacuum go, um, when I wash sheets or wash dishes or whatever along those lines. And I don't have to have a calendar for vacuuming and a calendar for dusting, things along those lines. So you can see here for my mental inventory, I did this a little differently where I wrote mental inventory directly with the Crayola Super Tip in the lightest color. And then I started building up my darker reds to give a gradient. I like that once I add the edge to this, I feel like it gives it a lot more depth than the one on goals where I kind of did the faux calligraphy first. Then you can see I have a scrap paper and I'm testing out how I want to edge things, um, specifically with my my little quote on the bottom, I felt like it wasn't as legible as it should be. So here I am adding in with that darker red just to make it stand out a little more. With all of the rich pomegranates, I felt like the um, Pit Artist Pen Red just wasn't quite bold enough. And here I'm going in with a gray Pit Artist Pen and adding a few more shadows. I have loved this marker. You've probably seen it a lot in my setups lately, but wow, it, it helps with so many different things. And now I'm doing what I mentioned before, where I'm edging this with a black to, again, give it some depth and texture. One thing that I forgot to mention um, at the very beginning is you may have noticed this setup is super similar to the past several months, but different in one key way, which right here you can see is that my cover page is actually a part of my Dutch door. So it's more like a cover spread with the goals on the left and the title on the right. Um, but then that page goes directly into my Dutch door instead of being like a title page in a book or something. Here I am uh, using the Kiritake black to just give some variation in the black on October. Uh, and adding in a few tweaks here and there with my gray. And now I decided to add in a few more pomegranates. Just, you know, the longer I looked at things, the more I thought they needed a few more. This is what I was mentioning before. I realized that I could do some pomegranates spilling over from this side and it would make a nice uh, flowing shape. So here you can see I'm actually, uh, I don't have any pencil lines, I'm just sketching with the marker. And I think that worked really well in this instance to keep my pomegranates both loose and sketchy, but also having, and I keep saying depth over and over again, but yeah, this is the richness, uh, the juicy sort of feeling to them.
and I nearly forgot to tell you, I was finally successful making a gluten-free sourdough starter. It's not what I think a lot of uh, us who got into sourdough during pandemic times think of with sourdough. It is a potato sourdough starter for a sweet sourdough. And it was so interesting the first time I made the dough from the starter, I immediately remembered um, my mom making sourdough bread and sweet sourdough cinnamon rolls as a child and it just smelled exactly like that. Um, so I'm still going to keep looking for a more savory sourdough starter, but for now I'm going to enjoy the sweet sourdough. So here we are for the final flip through. My goals and my title page, my monthly calendar with my moon phases and signs, my quote, my tracker, and then you can see my signs on the left and kind of what they represent, a place for my mental inventory, and then it goes into the weeklies. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. Blessed be.